Hey, what is up guys? It is Justin here back and I'm bringing you a video on a very cheap 50k team build. It's actually under 50k, but if you are a new player coming in, this is probably the most effective and fastest team you can get. Uh, I like to have my players be able to skate fast and have a little bit of body size to them, so that is kind of my game style. Obviously, if your game style is a bit different, like you like to get breakaways more often than others, uh, there is other team builds that you can also do, but this is one that really works well for me. If you want to try this team build out, or if you want to try any individual players out, you definitely want to try buying some of these players because they are absolutely awesome. And I'll give you the price amount and their team name as well. Uh, but first line here is Marty Hansel. I'll start off with the center first, but Marty Hansel, he is center two-way forward on the Arizona Coyote. Sorry, I almost said Phoenix. Uh, he is on the Arizona Coyotes if you search him. He's 86 overall and only 1300 coins. Like he's a very affordable player and the reason why he's so good, his stats might not show it, but he's actually 6 foot 6, 230 pounds. He's one of those tanks in the game where you cannot take down if you are protecting the puck. He's a great player, you definitely want to try him out. Next up we have Milan McCulloch. Uh, the reason why I like using him is he's very quick and he has some body size to him, kind of like your kind of your Jaden Schwartz, Chris Kreider kind of players. But Milan McCulloch, 87 skate, uh, he's pretty average size, six foot two, 225. Got a little bit of body size to him. He's great for the first line, and he's only like one two thousand pucks, so you definitely want to try picking him up. And the man himself, Michael Grabner. He has been used in NHL 13, 14, 15. Everybody knows him as the fastest player in the game. Uh, he has 89 skating and is only worth 4,000 this year. Uh, 89 skating, he's an absolute beast. He's not that heavy though, but he does get the job done in terms of you, if you are on a one-on-one -on -one battle, you can definitely beat your players on the outside, all right? So second lineup here, uh, you'll see here, uh, I have one of my players boosted, but I love to use this pairing, Marty Havlat and Mike Camilleri, basically. Marty Havlat is a speedster along with Cam Larry. Marty Havlat has 88 skating, one of the best skatings in the game, at least for base cards. Uh, and he's only 84 overall, only 2,000 pucks, very cheap. Then next up is Brian Boyle, very underrated in this game. And especially in NHL 15 when people need the body size in this game and speed, Brian Boyle is your number one pickup. He was actually my number one setter. Uh, he might actually still be my number one center, but I just put in Marty Hansel in the first line. So Brian Boyle, he is on Tampa Bay Lightning. He is also six foot seven, two hundred and forty-four pounds. Does it all? I'm telling you, he is one of the greatest players I've ever used in this game when he's fully boosted. Next up, Mike Camilleri, right wing sniper, newly acquired to New Jersey Devils. Uh, he is also like a Marty Havlat player, except very quick on his stick and feet. Uh, he's one of those players that are not too strong on checking, but he gets the job done. You, he's like your Michael Grabner. He gets you your breakaways. It's a very nice compliment with Brian Boyle. All right, so third line here is kind of my power lineup. Things uh, I want to get my job done. All right, so Chris Kreider. Uh, he is a fast player. Uh, he's a you're pretty much average uh, height and weight. I mean, six foot three, two thirty. He's actually a bit heavier than what I thought he was, but six foot three, two hundred thirty pounds. Very hard to knock off the puck. If someone were to hit you, I mean, Chris Kreider can pretty much shut off the hits. Antoine Vermette, he is my cheap Taves. He is my ho like homeless Taves to me. Like this is probably your most affordable Taves you can buy. If no, you guys don't know who Jonathan Taves is. He is on your Chicago center playmaker. He is worth like a ton of money. But this guy right here, he is pretty close to Jonathan Taves. Uh, he's 80. Four overall, has 87 skating, so he's still fast, and he is great at face-offs. Definitely what you want for a centerman, all right? So Victor Stahlberg here is my next one. He is on the Nashville Predators. Although his skating is 86, he is just a tank. His acceleration and speed are off the charts for, at least for me at least. Uh, he might not have the greatest shooting, uh, but in terms of getting the body size there, he is kind of like a smaller Rick Nash, except a little bit faster, which I like. Uh, Victor Stahlberg, very affordable player, like 1,000 pucks. You won't be spending more than that unless uh, this met, this team gets saturated, I don't know. But next lineup here is Jaden Schwartz, 84 overall. This is kind of like my penalty kill line, uh, but can do almost everything. It can still score goals, but it's a little bit smaller. But Jaden Schwartz, 87, 84 overall, sorry. 87 skate, 86 shot, 87 hands, your typical forward, uh, but he's a very good forward, That leave that in mind, but uh, we also got Mika Zibinijad, 88 skating, very underrated for his player card, uh, only 84 overall, he can do it all, he can win faceoffs, 
and he's still a really high overall in terms of skating with 88 skating at least but next one up is Marcus Johansson on the Washington Capitals 87 skate 84 shot 86 hands 82 checking 85 defense this is the card you want to pick up uh, he is a very versatile player uh, I mean he's 6 foot 1 205 but gets the job done you definitely want to try it out so this is the offensive lineup here if there's any player that you really like using you might as well keep him on your team and try out some of these new players that you have not tried out before because these guys are great right uh, I highly suggest if you know how to play the game or if you're a new guy coming in uh, this is probably the offensive lineup I would use in a startup game like I wouldn't be afraid to face up a team against Crosby and Datsu. I, I I really mean it I really mean it all right so let's go on to the defense here and this is a little bit cheaper but uh, I took out a couple defense and I put in some new ones and I actually did try them out and these guys are the greatest ones I like to use that are pretty cheap so far uh, but here is Roman Yossi 85 overall your typical 1000 defenseman 1000 coin defenseman uh, but very very fast very versatile with his skating and even though it's 85 skating like he's very like good on his poke checks which I like very high defense level which I like to use as well so Roman Yossi on the Nashville Predators and in net I like to put in, uh, well, I actually got this uh, suggestion from Tactics HD. Uh, he set Unders Lindback, and he's a very cheap goalie. And the reason why people like using him so much is because he's 6'6", six 210 pounds. I totally forgot about that. And now he's on the Dallas Stars. Uh, very, very good goalie for 1,000 pucks. Like, 1,000 coins, sorry. I'm going to mess that up the whole video. But uh, Anders Lindback is a very solid goalie. Uh, in terms of just NHL 13-14, people knew that uh, bigger goalies were better. So Anders Lindback is up there as well. And then we got Cody Franzen here, 83 overall. One of the, I think, more underrated defensemen. But the reason why I like him so much this year is because they gave him a boost in his 80s, in his skating at least, 86 skating. However, he is a big man, 6'5", 213 pounds. In terms of getting the shot off on the point, he is a great defenseman to use. He is on the Toronto Maple Leafs if you want to find him. All right, so next up is Dan Boyle. Uh, he is a very fast skater. I would actually put him on the third line for at least defense, but Dan Boyle on the New York Rangers. Uh, he is a very good player in terms of getting back and skating. He is the guy I like to use uh, in order to beat, uh, sorry, breakaways. Christian Airhop, uh, one of the more underrated players again, uh, but his overall does not tell that much. He is an 85 overall, but his 87 skating, 85 shooting, 87 hands just makes him an overall really good defenseman to use uh, in any situation for sure so he's a, like a two to three thousand player for right now but it might drop in the future so you might want to try picking up a christian airhoff on the pittsburgh penguins and last but not least alexander edler on vancouver canucks very very great player as well he is six foot three 215 very great on the stick for sure uh, as long as you stay with the guy and you poke check you are pretty much solid with Alexander Edler. He does it all in terms of his overall stats. It's just 84 average down the board, 85 average down the board. So Alexander Edler is my third defenseman core. And also last but not least, Justin Fall, very underrated player. I keep saying underrated, but they are actually great players to use. Uh, he has great skating and he has a really nice, like really good body size in terms of uh, just getting the body, shooting the puck. This is a guy that you want to have on your third line defense, and he only costs under a thousand pucks. But that is just about it for these team, build, team builds. Uh, I hope you smash the like button if you did enjoy it. I might post out another one, maybe for some other type of team builds, like uh, breakaway ones or some ones that are very just power forward. Like you guys, let me know what you like to see in the comments below. I also want to hear what your favorite lineup is. Give me your left wing, center, right wing, your best lineup that you like to use. That is pretty cheap. I might put that into my next video. All right. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, and this bag, 86, like Calamari, that's